Hello, ITPC. This is Steve, and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. Smoking some Solani Silver Flake. And I'm doing a VR for all briared up. Um, John's a great guy. Got 100 subs. Congrats. Uh, he's been a great addition to the YTPC. I'm glad that you started making videos. He, um, he makes a lot of content and um, has some good insight on uh, different tobaccos. Uh, he smokes a lot of um, aromatics, but not just aromatics. So if you want to check out his channel, give it a look. Get some moisture in here. Um, anywho, he asked uh, three questions. For starters, I already said, John, don't include me in the giveaway. You already <laughs> just sent me a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> so just exclude my, exclude my name. But I still wanted to participate, support your channel. So you asked... Um, what got you into pipe smoking? Um, I never did any cigarette, cigar, weed, any kind of smoking prior to pipes. And we are touring Europe, and um, one of the guys was an avid pipe smoker. And he broke out his pipe and was smoking it. And it smelled so good, and then he let us all take puffs and I didn't taste anything. I thought that was kind of boring. So uh, it smelled great, didn't taste like anything. Nothing's changed <laughs> with aromatics for that with me. And um, so I kind of just shelved it, but it wasn't until two years ago now that I thought, hey, we do a lot of fires around uh, the neighborhood uh, we get together and it'd be just nice to, I think it would be just so cool to smoke a pipe sitting around a fire in the neighborhood and give me something to do while we're just sitting there not doing much. So I asked my wife if it was okay if I, um, got a pipe and she said, sure. Ended up getting a pipe from my brother-in-law. He drew my name that year, and I didn't have any tobacco, so then I didn't know what to do. I was in reading a lot of Reddit at the time, so there's a pipe smoking subreddit, and they have like a whole wiki that kind of just walks you through all of pipe smoking, which is great, great resource. So they had suggestions of aromatics to try, Virginias and Englishes. And I was like, oh, this is great. Um, just go into a local place and grab some of these. Well, I walk into a lo local place and they had a bunch of stuff. Bunch, I mean, they had some uh, jars of Peter Stockaby blends and then um, a couple tins behind glass but none of them were the names that they suggested on Reddit. So I was like, ah. I asked the store for help. I just want a Virginia and an English or something to try these because a lot of people suggest don't go into aromatics right away. They're like, I don't know anything about any of those. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. I think it was the guy's first day or something. So I grabbed uh, Lane 1Q because that was on the aromatics. And then I grabbed uh, uh, Highland Whiskey from Peter Stockaby and gave it a go from there. Um, the Highland Whiskey, I think I, I liked more than the Lane 1Q at the time, but that's when I decided to go online and try to find some of these blends that Reddit was talking about. You got some. GLPs Montgomery and um, Str 
Strong Kentucky or something. HH Strong Kentucky. That ah, was too much. <laughs> uh, some of these other ones. I think I, maybe I got Orlick Golden Slice, but maybe I didn't. Anywho, what's my favorite tobacco? Um, trying to suck that moisture up into my filter. Um, favorite, it's tough. I'm still figuring that out. I haven't got, I've just been trying so many different blends that it's hard to get into a definitive groove. But I think the tin that I enjoyed the most, and I haven't opened another one yet because I'm just trying to smoke stuff that I do have open was the H&H &H, uh, Anniversary Flake. It's a Virginia Perique. I'm glad I bought. I wasn't going to try to buy anything until after Thanksgiving and I bought some more because it was out of stock at a lot of places but then at Tobacco Pipes they had some so I just bought whatever, 10 tins of it, or nine or something. It's all pretty reasonable price at like $10. And I'm glad because I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure if with the FDA regulations, this will be one of those blends that disappears. So I'm not in a rush to smoke my other tins of it. Um, I probably just smoke a tin of it a year. Um, then he asked, uh, why I continue to smoke. Well, this kind of went into what Cass, Piper Cassidy, Skull was, did a VR for that, why I smoke a pipe. I really appreciate all the friendships that I have on here. I appreciate the relaxing. I appreciate figuring out the tobaccos and how to smoke them. I really appreciate the taste, you know, like, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Anyway, if you made it this far, congrats. That was probably slow and boring, but uh, congratulations, John, and Everybody have a great day.